I wanted to make this video today because I'm going to talk this rock through um, with my thoughts on what it might be. I actually found this rock in my property. Um, it was actually in a, I was trenching to run some electrical wire and it ended up being in the dirt when I went to fill the trench back in. So it was within two foot of dirt because that was what I was trenching down two feet. And um, I found this ball. Now when I first found it, and it's roughly the size of a softball, maybe, maybe a little bit smaller than a softball. It's bigger than a baseball. So when I first discovered it, I thought it was just odd, neat, odd shaped, round rock. Maybe my first thought was, hey, is this a cannon ball? Uh, but I've since thought differently on that. I thought at one point it was a meteor, right? Um, but it, when I first tested it, its magnetic properties, I did not recognize that it was magnetic. I've since come to learn that it is magnetic and um, to show what I mean so it you know it will take a magnet but it slides off now the magnet I was first trying to use uh, was so weak that it wouldn't you know even it wouldn't attract at all this one will and I'll show you so you know it draws to it and then it's hard to Hard to get it off once it stops. You know it. It has an attraction. So anyway, I've come to wonder if reassessing this is it actually a meteorite, and why I state that is for several reasons. One being the magnetic property. Um, I'll say it also has, it's pretty heavy, 993 grams, 990, 993, whatever, it's a heavy rock. Um, it also seems to have on this ridge, so obviously it has a black surface right um, so if you notice this ridge here that goes around it um, seems to be pushing material now what it doesn't have is a shiny face like I would expect it also doesn't um, it's not glassy it doesn't seem to have any running like it doesn't like it's melted per se but, you know, I don't know necessarily how that would look, but I do feel like this edge is a, it's almost like the, the outer surface is doubling up on itself. As you see, and it crosses through and covers a, you know, pretty good portion of this rock. Stop somewhere around there which okay that makes me question it um, I also have these couple of lines where it seems to have melted created this little overlapping line now that might look like a crack but it's it's really an overlap there's one there and then there's one here and both of them are just kind of overlapping the other part of the rock. And then finally, this little piece right here where it looks to have flaked, this outer core looks to have flaked off as the crust of, you know, a meteorite will be created when, when it's falling and then 
it can break off. It's kind of like an eggshell. And there's other, other evidence that this might have occurred, like this piece right here. And just so you know, this place that this was found, this is my property, is it was originally a cow pasture. It was farmland. And so, you know, is it possible that this rock was in the field and they were tilling up the field and maybe they planted something? So maybe some of this surface has been nicked off or broken off already. Um, but that piece is pretty fresh and looks like it has flaked off. So these are my questions on this rock. Is it a meteorite? Is it not? Um, I plan on asking someone of greater intelligence than mine. <laughs>